Hi guys and welcome back. So today we have a new ESC and this is from a company called UFO. Now this is I believe the third thing I've gotten from UFO. Um, one of the first thing was that cheap VTX. It's basically a stackable VTX which is pretty sweet actually uh, for 12 bucks. So it, it's like it's competing with the Asian TX526 really but it's stackable so that's pretty sweet. Now this is a Beale Heli 32 ESC. It's rated 30 amp and a 35 amp burst and 2 to 4 S LiPo. So what's so cool about this guy? Well, one thing is he's eleven dollars. That's that's just one thing. He does support telemetry. Look, that's a telemetry pad right there. I've not tested telemetry just yet, but we will be testing it very soon. They do provide you with a heatsink, but there's no current sensor, which is totally fine. You're only paying eleven dollars, so that's very good. Now, believe it or not, we've actually tested this guy before, uh, but he was disguised under the Hack RC ESC. And so it's basically the same exact ESC and we have tested this and this is the one that got me super excited and which is I'm currently doing the waterproof build on right now. As you can see right now I've waterproofed this and I've gotten some kind of uh, modified conformal coating uh, which the battery is dead to show you. Alright so there it is as you can see it's like modified and it's just glows in the UV so it's pretty sweet so we can see if we missed the spot or not on the coating here so right now I'm really loving these for to be my waterproof quads uh, just because they're cheap and they run telemetry I, I like again I saw I'm not test telemetry and I'll be testing telemetry very soon on this so uh, it's gonna be pretty sweet so overall uh, in the testing I'm gonna show you the test right now as as I've tested before because it's the same exact ESC uh, they hold their phases pretty well they're a bit noisy um, nothing super crap and nothing super good. They're just right there in the middle. They're pretty sweet. Uh, however, you can buff out some of that noise with just increasing the PWM frequency and BLH32 and should be pretty good. So the real world testing of these is coming very soon after we do our waterproof quad and it's going to be, we'll, we'll know exactly how good they are. Um, but overall, you know, the capacitors here, it seems like it's going to have some good filtration. They do give you a heatsink and tantalum capacitor, which will reduce some of the high frequency noise, which is always a big plus. And um, it seems like good quality components. I mean, that's all I can really say right now. So let's just quickly get its measurements and its weight. And I will leave you guys with the testing of this guy or that guy. Because they're the same thing, really. All right, so we got the caliper zeroed out. Let's check its dimensions here. So its width is 13.3. Uh, um, its length is going to be a bit difficult to get a super accurate, but from the longest points here, I'll try to do my best. 26.2, maybe we could say 26. And its overall height from the highest points, which will be the, okay, the heatsink and this part right there. So it's about, it's about five millimeters. So it's five millimeters tall. And then it was, um, yeah, 26 millimeters in length. So let's quickly get its weight now. All right, so we're gonna zero out the scale here. Six grams, seven grams. If we cut some of those wires, it's going to be around five grams, so it's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, it's very light. Um, now, just, you know, thinking about its price and thinking about its features here, uh, something that it's actually competing with is basically something like the Emacs Blue, which is one of the noisiest ESCs I've ever tested. And, um, you know, if you pick this up for $11 so far, I think you've done a great job just from the lab testing. And usually the bench testing doesn't fail me, and it hasn't till this day, so it's very good. Um, so... This is this seems like a pretty good ESC. It's not a bad ESC at all. Uh, Eleven dollars, you really can't go wrong. So that's going to be pretty sweet, and probably going to do another waterproof build with these guys, just because they're so cheap, and we can just actually get some telemetry or test out the telemetry on these guys. Hopefully, it works. It should work. I don't see why it shouldn't. We'll be able to read RPM and temperature as well. So that's going to be pretty sick and pretty insane. And um, yeah, well, I'm going to leave you guys with the noise testing, the bench noise testing, and basically it's going to conclude it for this video guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.